bill at this stage. Thank you. Uh, the next call is a split call. Mary McDavidson, five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tina Koto. Uh, the Green Party are supporting. Are, sorry, the Green Party are opposing this bill because we support we support the public benefit um, that occurs as a result of public organisations like the 138,349 requests from education agencies um, who needed police vetting in 2013-14. Now, that is absolutely um, a public benefit and should not be carried uh, by user pays model. Um, the, the process, it, it, it appears that in this bill, um, the police, it wants to enable police to recover costs in respect of provision of certain police services. Um, and the process that the Minister can recommend any regulation to establish a fee or charge, there is, uh, and again, I acknowledge my colleague David Clendon as being our um, spokesperson in uh, proper on this legislation, but it appears still, um, in my initial reading, that there is a uh, not enough sort of safety check or a check on how far the police can expand the services that they wish to recover. And so that's of some concern, as well as actually the fact that, um, so the police apparently have suggested a fee um, and provision for some exemptions uh, to specific organisations for recovering costs, but um, as of August, it seems that any proposed regulations still have not been presented to Cabinet, and I'm happy to be corrected on that um, and just seek some clarification that we might get to in the committee stage. So some sort of clarity around what the police are actually suggesting here, how many services they're wanting to expand the recovery, um, the recovery costs to as well. I want to be quite clear, I mean, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, you know, this absolutely should not be a, a, a user pays model. That's not where we want our country to go for so many reasons. And one that sprung to my mind um, as I, as I familiarise myself with this new piece of legislation um, was when I was, uh, I went to a younger, I went to a smaller school in Hokianga, um, and it is, it is, you know, a lower decile school, not hugely resourced, and I was involved in an investigation of a teacher, um, where I was basically a whistleblower to a teacher, this is all on public record, I was probably 10, who was, um, who was conducting some serious sexual abuse of uh, my fellow students in my school. And, and this is a small, quite isolated school at that point as well, um, and, it, it, you know, we need, we need our schools to be able to not even think about, not even have to think about doing the checks, the safety requirements that they need to do without a single thought, because it actually literally does impact on the safety of the children in that community. And as I pointed out earlier, a large number of the requests um, for police vetting comes from education agencies. Surely with the resources of this Crown and this Ministry and the Minister involved, we can actually work out how we can exempt um, particular public good services. Uh, and, and if there is a concern about commercial benefit, then let's have a look at that. But let's not scoop up too many of the organisations that would actually have to think the fact that they would even have to think about taking the necessary steps to put in place all safety requirements for their community is why we oppose this bill, Mr Speaker. Um, and, you know, my colleague uh, David Clendon has noted that the better off schools, for example, it already shows that they often pay... Uh, they often pay for their teachers' registration, but poorer schools do not. So we have the evidence to show that these are hindrances, these are restrictions, and we need to ensure that every single school, all school, early childhood, charity organisations, do not have to think, do not have another barrier in the way of the work that they are already doing in our communities to be able to ensure that they can keep their workers safe, their community safe, their clients safe, and primarily, that is why the Green Party is opposing this bill. Thank you, Mr Speaker.